Um, binasang, konnichiwa, Zamurai Injil Des. So in this video, let us uh, start our uh, semester. And with that, we have uh, one of our um, uh, important course in this uh, program, BS Civil Engineering. We have um, Engineering Utilities 2. We uh, finished Engineering Utilities 1 last uh, semester and uh, for uh, Engineering Utilities 2, we have Plumbing and Mechanical Building Systems. This is your uh, module 1.00, Introduction to the Course. What happened? So, again, introduction to the course. I'm your professor, Dr. Epizantua, and uh, I'm a Bachelor of Engineering, graduate from Polytechnic University, Japan, as a Japan government scholar in engineering. Okay, uh, let's start with uh, the uh, expectation for this uh, particular video. The student uh, must be able to describe the course after this video. What else? Uh, you must be able to recall the uh, course specification and references. You must be able to list the topics to be covered throughout the whole semester and uh, be able to cite the details of reading system. And lastly, but not the least, um, you must be able to remember the course title definitions. Okay. So just uh, a little bit of idea so that we can relate ourselves with the study of this uh, course throughout the semester. So in our uh, university, we have CED2 as the uh, course code of this um, particular course. Uh, and it is called uh, Engineering Utilities 2 again. It is about sanitary, plumbing, fire protection, mechanical, and acoustic control systems. It would be present. It would also present the interrelationships between the building and its uh, subsystems. Okay. So presentation of the relationship between those different um, disciplines that contributes to the uh, construction making of the building. Okay. So this uh, course have the following specifications. Credit units, three units, and that means we have three uh, lecture units. Hours per week, we have three lecture hours per week. And the prerequisite of this course is physics for engineers, okay? physics. So that's um, uh, one of our subjects during our what first year in college. Okay? first year in our, in our engineering program. Program outcomes of the uh, civil engineering. Let us see, design a system or process in accordance with standards. So these are the expectation of uh, what we are going to learn, discuss, expect from this course, okay? We can design a system or process in accordance with standards. So what we're going to discuss are different standards from different discipline, engineering discipline, like uh, what? Uh, we uh, stated plumbing, we stated sanitary, we stated uh, mechanical, no? And uh, as you can see, there is a letter E at the end of the uh, sentence, it means enabling course. This specific one is an enabling 
course, no? For this particular type of <coughs> expectation, excuse. And letter D, uh, uh, you could expect that uh, this course would enable you to function in multidisciplinary and multicultural teams. So because um, we are going to prepare you to, to uh, your uh, career, to your work later on, which means you will be able to uh, acquire confidence in this uh, course to be able to interact with other uh, types of engineer, for example, mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, uh, electronics engineer, master plumber, sanitary engineer. Uh, those are uh, the professionals that uh, you could uh, encounter in a, a construction, oh, in a construction a site. Okay, even uh, not in the site, even in planning starting in planning no in planning designing uh you could what interact with each other uh, change no exchange notes so that uh, uh the problems during construction would be what minimized okay and um next one is letter f understand professional and ethical responsibility so as a professional you have your responsibility and as a human being, you have your ethical responsibility. So, um, uh, ethical meaning uh, it doesn't need to be legal. Okay? So, because sometimes uh, there are uh, uh, ethical which are not uh, defined by law, which are uh, extra responsibility so ethical responsibility uh, and extra responsibility as a human being okay so professional meaning we are uh, bound by the code standards of being an engineer being uh, in our specific discipline of engineering so as a civil engineer i am bound by the uh, professional uh, codes standards of civil engineers at the same time i am uh, bounded also by the ethical uh, canons of, of uh, civil engineers okay? which uh, uh what um, group together into an association called pice but in this course, I would not become a civil engineer. I would become a mechanical engineer because we will going to discuss mechanical building system. And some sort, we will also discuss some electrical building system. I will become an electrical engineer. Okay. And uh, also master plumber. So I would... Uh, take the uh, the uh, form of a master plumber professional to interact with you as a civil engineer. So we uh, will uh, get 